Christmas memories. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and back to Vlogmas Day 5. Yes, I think that's what day it is. Today is a fun collab that I am doing with some of my friends here on YouTube, Valerie, Cassie, Laura, and Tristina, and we are each bringing you a Christmas cookie recipe. And the recipe that I am sharing with you today is a cherry almond Amish sugar cookie. Could I have picked a recipe with a more challenging name to get out of my mouth? I have had this pinned on my Pinterest board for a long time, and I have had intentions of making it for the Christmas season, and I am so glad that I'm finally able to do that because it sounds and looks amazing. Um, I love cherry, I love almond, and I think the two together as a combination are just going to be super duper yummy. Don't forget to also go and check out the other ladies videos as well because they are sharing some really yummy sounding recipes as well and I cannot wait to check those out and try to make some of them myself. So we're going to head on over to the oven and get to baking. To start, add one cup or two sticks of softened butter to a large mixing bowl, one cup of vegetable oil, one cup of sugar, and one cup of powdered sugar. Beat that until it is combined. Add in two eggs, two teaspoons of almond extract, two teaspoons of cherry extract, and 20 ounces of diced maraschino cherries. After you dice the cherries, you are going to take extra time and make sure that you squeeze them out and get all of the juice out. You do not want any of that juice getting into the cookies and making them soggy. Continue mixing that until it's all combined. To a large bowl, add four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Whisk that together until it's all combined. And then you're going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. It's best to add this in increments and mix in between. Be sure that you scrape the sides of the bowl as well so that you get all of the dough mixed in.
This was the first time tasting the batter and it was so yummy. Once the dough is ready, go ahead and scoop out the cookie dough in teaspoonful sizes onto a lined baking sheet. I used parchment paper for my baking sheets, but you can also use Silpat or the rubber mats as well. and then pop them into a preheated oven at 375 degrees. And bake them for about eight to 11 minutes. I started out at eight minutes and realized it wasn't long enough with my oven, so I ended up going with 11 minutes for every batch. Once the cookies are done baking, pull them out of the oven and let them sit for a minute. You want the bottoms of them to be nice and toasted brown and then transfer them to a cooling rack to completely cool. I am just gonna go ahead and finish baking off the rest of this dough. To make the frosting, you are going to melt four tablespoons of butter, add a third of a cup plus two tablespoons of maraschino cherry juice, a teaspoon of almond extract, and a teaspoon of cherry extract. Mix it all together until it's combined. In a larger bowl, add four cups of powdered sugar, and then add in the butter mixture to the powdered sugar and whisk until a thick frosting is made. One thing to keep in mind, you don't want the frosting to be too thick so that it doesn't spread onto the cookies, but you also don't want it to be too thin and runny. This is the perfect consistency. Once your cookies have cooled, go ahead and begin frosting them and then decorate them however you like. To try to keep things festive for Christmas, I added green sugar sprinkles on top. I'm not really sure how festive this looked, but I think it looks pretty. So cookies are done and they are so delicious. I could not stop eating the dough the entire time I was making them. The frosting is really good. I'm not a big frosting person and it's really yummy. And um, the cookies themselves are very light and airy. 
and buttery and they're so good I mean I'm I'm like I'm I'm pleasantly surprised because I wasn't sure how these were going to turn out and look at this so okay well let me show you the cookies first so I just frosted them and I'm letting them set um, and then so the frosting itself is like a pink kind of and I did green sprinkles thinking it's gonna look kind of Christmassy which they really don't but they work and I like them because they actually remind me of my sorority because our colors are pink and green so I thought that that was kind of cute but look at this frosting bowl I never ever ever use up all of the frosting for recipes I'm not kidding every time I make a recipe and you have to make homemade frosting with it I always have way too much left over and this was the exact like perfect amount you needed this made 60 cookies and um, they're so good so yeah y'all need to try this recipe um, they're really easy the only thing I would say is a little time-consuming and tedious is just like the cherry part just chopping them up and drying them and making sure that they're super dry but when you bite into the cookie they're just like I said they're really soft and buttery but you get little bits of cherry you get that almond flavor it's so good so definitely check out the recipe I will leave it below and let me know if you make it and then I will link to all of the ladies channels that I am collabing with today um, I will leave that down below and also the playlist for this collaboration so you can check out all of their cookie recipes as well so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this little bake with me um, i do have more baking videos coming at you in december um, definitely some more cookie recipes and things and some cooking things and just a bunch of other stuff too so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day. Hopefully you're having a great start to the Christmas season. Don't forget to give this video a like and I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel if you like this sort of content and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.